the story has it at the time that the uh, name of Imperial Beach was was decided upon as a way to attract some of the farming and ranching interests in the Imperial Valley to come out to the beach to uh, for the during the hot summer uh, months. There were various attractions here. We did have a, a nice uh, hotel uh, here uh, at the time. There were restaurants, there was a dancing uh, pavilion, there was a short uh, uh, boardwalk that ran north uh, from the pier. And one of the most interesting things about the, the pier was a machine that was built uh, on the end that was called a wave uh, motor. Uh, it was named after the primary uh, investor that, uh, that attracted other uh, people to help build this uh, wave motor and and the wave motor was uh, was supposed to generate uh, electricity for the growing community uh, of Imperial Beach uh, and uh, it was uh, lasted about uh, two years there was a lot of problems uh, with it reportedly and uh, they had paddles sticking down into the uh, ocean and the paddles would be activated by the incoming waves and supposedly the mechanical ener energy of the uh, of the paddles would be somehow uh, transformed into electrical energy which would then be sent along uh, wires and cables uh, to provide electricity to the community of Imperial Beach. It was an interesting concept popular uh, at the time. The Edwards wave motor was the last of several wave motors built uh, along the coast of uh, California. To my knowledge uh, none of them uh, ever worked and ultimately the Edwards wave motor was disassembled and removed uh, from uh, the pier that was constructed around 1909. According to N.J. Peavy, the first house was built in Imperial Beach in 1903, and his father helped to bring in the material and work on it. Uh, others seem to think that, uh, that there were houses that are older than that, but we can't prove it. Around 1909, we do know that they started to build in Imperial Beach. The South San Diego Investment Company came in and uh, built a pier. There was quite a, a thriving business going on. By having a, a boat that came from San Diego down uh, uh, San, uh, San Diego Bay to the end of 10th Street at Imperial Beach. And then the people would uh, get on a streetcar and ride to Imperial Beach and enjoy the day. During the land boom of the uh, 1890s and 1900s, you had real estate developers that came in, they uh, subdivided, they tried to build an attraction such as a, as a, as a hotel and uh, restaurants. Uh, they tried to get mass advertising in hopes of enticing people to come in and buy up individual uh, lots. During this uh, time, there was a time of great real estate uh, speculation and many stories uh, exist today of people buying something for uh, hundreds or thousands of dollars only to double or triple their money uh, the next day from uh, uh, another another buyer. Many tourists from downtown San Diego made day trips to uh, Imperial Beach, enjoyed uh, the pier, enjoyed the hotel that was here, the dancing uh, pavilion, the bakery, the restaurant, and uh, there was a tennis court, uh, you could rent bathing suits, uh, there was a shower. This went on fairly spectacularly, I believe. 